Hey, hello, this is Martin from Secrets, the channel for learning about trading and investing. Welcome to Quick Pocket Analysis for tomorrow, March 21st, Tuesday, 2023. Basically, we'll be looking at what happened in the market during the day and learn from it and plan for a bit of trade for the next day. So, let's get into the charts. This is the uh, Nifty charts for the daily. You can clearly see is a hammer that is formed. Very wide range, highly volatile. Both bear fight happened and then no, it is a V shaped recovery can be very much clear. And here we have the magnitude also forming a hammer. It's a it's a long week. Right? Uh, long weeks has been getting formed since the last three days. Long weeks could work out as a reversal week candle at all, uh, especially when it is in the end of a trend. See, it's a down trend. So it could be a reversal uh, uh, possibility continues to be the result of we have a, a red day after two days of green, right? And um, Bank Nifty definitely seems to be much stronger than the Nifty because Nifty is uh, has, um, seems to be more, more weaker. Another thing to note here is that uh, the Bank Nifty we have a range shift that's seen here, a shift from sideways to the uh, so basically, when there is a sideways shift of the momentum that happens into the various zones, which takes resistance at the top of uh, the RSI 40 and then again dips down, then it's a range shift, which is very powerful bearishness indicator. It's beautifully formed with the bank tree, but nifty. Uh, also, there is a range shift which indicates more bearishness from the more momentum dip. Uh, well, that's what it indicates. And, um, uh, remember, we are making a lower low on the short run, lower low, lower high. That one is what is the price action. But on a weekly basis, we are still making higher highs and higher low on weekly charts, which would get breached as soon as we lose the 16.750. Today, we went to 50 points away from that, nearly 50 or 60, 70 points away from that at 8, 70, 16, 8, 30, 16, 750 is where we lose that uh, higher high. I have no pattern on the medium to charts. So what's in favor of the bears? Right. Of course, it was a very volatile day. Very, very volatile. 200 points up, 200 points down. So it's very volatile to build trade. We shape recovery, bull, big bull and bear fight happened. By all dips is what happened, 0.65. And finally, no, that's return. It's less than 1%. 0.65 and 0.60 percentage loss from in the industrial respectively. And Nifty, it is, it's the eighth day of uh, red candles that's getting formed on Nifty. Right? And the total correction is 16.11% and 12.5% of the bank Nifty in the last three months from the top swing high. From the swing high here, it's 12.5% of the bank Nifty that's collected. And a new swing low is formed only on the Nifty. Not the bank Nifty. We have a new low at 68.30. It was lost, had lost the 200 DMA and the Fibonacci 61 is lost by both dices and uh, one demand bearer's expansion downside is that with the bearish bias, the bias was the price less than the median of 20 DMA. Home levels in the bearish zones continues to be there and rising and falling and trend indicator also is in negative zones so and it's having enough strength of more indicating more bearishness. So lower low, lower high pattern is what's forming and US and dices is what's created the problem following the negative news for the banks. Uh, getting close now, and although the Fed had, and although the government had taken enough steps to uh, buy out, bail out, or do things like that, um, uh, the fear seems to be uh, piling up in, across the globe in all the markets, even including the Asian markets. And that's uh, the, uh, probably the fundamental reason that could be found for the US. So basically, US and is uh, selling pressure, it's, 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 it's falling down from the city. A red pattern. FI selling continues in this eight days. They are being selling the eight red days or the eight FI selling days. Except for one day, all of those are still selling. So institutional support, which is very much required for the market to move up, is not there. And sector, industrial sector wise, if you see, it was you know most of the fall was severe from 0.65 percent to up to two percent. The metal, right? So momentum is bearish in all except the FMC reality. In the short term, we talk about heavy weights, they are all bearish except the ICC Bank and Kodak Bank. And except the two banking stocks, others have all fallen from 0.4 to 1.2% of 
what had happened and all those heavy weights. So we talk about the seven heavy weights and constitute uh, the index, like the fifteen. And another thing is your protease keeps on depreciating. You know, it's on a wet stop where it break out to eighty three point five plus could happen in retirement. Having bullish momentum in the US day and our this you know remains to be about eighty two point five as of now. So that's about it. Some all the gains of the crude. It gets negated with this dollar spike. And we have weeks and spike another 10, um, isn't that 8.5% today, 8.4. And it is outside of the lower range of 16. So, a lot of things in favor of the beers continue as per the charts. few things uh, on the bull side. We still have a wide range hammer in this use, small body reversal, big kind of patterns that is getting from the last three days in the indices, which means that there is buying at the supports are. Well, there is presence of the bulls out there, which uh, which means that there's a good support that we have, and there is a possibility that it could reverse from it, it could move further up. Right, and uh, it is uh, the very crucial support zone 16750 and 39,003. No, and uh, no, it's 38 for 286. Uh, 37, 37, is uh, no. The supports for the right, but if it's very close by 50 points now, we have a major support. And uh, when it is at a support, there's a possibility that it will retest and then bounce up. There's a possibility that there's a change in priority, bounce up can happen where the support, which is previous resistance, will act as a bounce flat. So, this is there's a change in priority CIP that could work on the possibilities that when it is survived 200 EMA today also. And it did not make a uh, new single to bank. It seems to be having all the, 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 all the crashes down is all about banks. The bank actually seems to be more stronger than if they uh, uh, surviving the two day first today also and did not make a new single low, just like how Nifty had that today. This bank faced strong, 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 it's positive, and market uh, weekly charts are still negative the higher, high, higher low pattern, which I talked about earlier. Crude oil is falling down below 66, which is one way it's good. So, uh, we are in, in both of oil country, you know, we are country with majority of our boards have that of oil. But the fact is that companies like Lens, which are in the oil marketing and oil manufacturing, one of the world's largest, um, which contributes a lot, contributes the largest to the NIFI index. So, so that's Lens and that's falling down because of the oils. Apart from that, cool oil and fall down. So, if considering the reversation is happening, it comes to the reality still made in the sideways moment of inspire up this fall in the short of the but that's all the beer strong to know. Which is a good act, and also the two heavyweights are surviving so far. The sideways moment of not falling into the short of the business yet. Food call issue is uh, not at the end of uh, uh, it's still. More closer to than bullishness than bearishness as a point six five. So in fact, it's not that bearish. Those are things that bulls can be off about. You know, um, and what's worth it from my side, you know, the, the the fact is that we have a third volatile, very volatility, very volatile long week, three carries with three long weeks gamma patterns indicates a probable you know uh, reversal. But it's by own dips that's happening in the last three days, and uh, it's eight red, uh, red candle. Right? But the fact is that it's, uh, it's, the charts are clearly saying for the moment indicators, trend indicators, false trend indicators, and the price action also. Um, most of it you know, indicates bearishness uh, as much, but it's very difficult to judge it at this point in time because um, it's a major support from the probability of a bounce from here. You cannot be able to right? Um, uh, so, how can we move up, but how long that move will sustain is a key question. So, what we are look out is for 17,250 to manage to close above that one hurdle is over and 17,500 after that. Similarly, vanity 40,000 over 1,000 would be the hurdle upside. But uh, on the downside, the swing low is very low, very near. So, the nifty 16,750 is a value, 37,386 on the bank of the low on the downside. So, that's what the market is. So, uh, the bearishness is you no know, any plan I can say it's uh, heavily bearish in the short term perspective. That's for sure. But there are there is there are a few factors like uh, being at the support zone, the, the daily candles and the hammer, 
which is giving which is which means you know buying it from the support so that's happening or uh, you know and the correction has been uh, has made uh, has been decent enough for 12.5 to 11 person kind of uh, is, is that it has been a decent correction probably some pounds of the relief rally could come in this week is what i hope right? but i could be wrong markets would prove me wrong the bears just could extend to 15 percent and things like that so the moment we, we have the breach of the major supports that we have at 16 650 750 probably we are for a prolonged bear so that may you know take your tails down to the 16,000 and below but it's possible it is there so yeah so play it safe no push and size and have defined uh, hedge portions only where your risk is defined right? and don't go for naked versions of accuracy but so with the wix is spiking towards the trading stay out of the trade if uh, if the wix is about 20 no, because it will be too too difficult to handle unless you are a uh, hardcore professional in the options of derivative section so play it safe and hedge your versions and um, also this may be a uh, investment opportunities uh, in the SIP mode, you know, this can be this this is an opportunity the market gives for clarity and you can make use of that. You can use options also to buy out where you can get total incomes at the same time. You get invest also like the covered cash record puts and covered course that these links are there in the playlist, check out that and then that's so all we get the different ways of so this is a very time market if it's an investment opportunity as well in the SIP mode not in large chunks. That's my view. I have a view of it, but the, uh, I cannot rule out a possibility of some small smoke that make it teeter out at the top. Uh, that's what. Uh, so I hope this helps you in some way for your trading plan for the next day. And if you're watching this without subscribing, please subscribe and share to your friends. We need solutions to keep us motivated to doing, doing this. And if you are subscribed, please like if you like it and then comment and share your feedback. Thanks for watching. Happy trading, happy learning, happy investing. Bye bye.